Spotify <laughs> or YouTube. All right, so hey guys, how are you doing? Morning. Good morning. Morning, morning. <laughs> My name is Ava. I'll be your teacher. And um, is anybody here new to Kundalini Yoga? First time? No? Okay, good. <laughs> So what we're going to do today is we're going to work on our connection to God. And what is God? It's like this all-pervading energy that's beyond the beyond. And I feel like, you know, it's not more of a religious thing. It's more of this universal energy that we all have access to and that really runs all things. Because a lot of times we feel that it's us that has to do everything. It's us that is responsible for everything. That's us that, you know, have to make things happen. But what we don't understand is that everything is already kind of, not decided, but there's a lot that has been decided by our higher self and our soul. And sometimes, you know, the human struggle is to just surrender to that destiny and that flow instead of resist it because in the human body our mind always tries to tell us like oh no this is how things should be or we have these expectations and that's the biggest struggle because when you expect and you have an idea of what things should look like you set yourself up for disappointment anytime you expect so it's so good to just let go of these expectations that we all have it's very normal to have them but when you can surrender and just look at what is and know that what is is just perfect you know and then you can be free because if you know that what is is perfect you cannot be sad disappointed hurt you know you don't feel anything was taken from you because nothing is yours anyway <laughs> You know, that's the illusion of the ego that things are supposed to be a certain way, that they're ours and that they're, we hold on to so much. Today I want to work on letting it go and allowing the God force, that divine energy to come into your life and run things that is the best for your soul, that was chosen from your higher self. And I want us all to start coming into that space of accepting what that higher destiny is sometimes we can look at a thing as a disappointment or as a loss but it could actually be the biggest blessing that happened to us so i ask you to start looking more at the big picture of things not in each small situation from the human perspective and that will help you have a much more peaceful life so we're gonna work at that energy today we're gonna go ahead and tune in. So let's rub our palms together. <coughs> Press them at the heart, close your eyes, go within, take a deep inhale. Feel the air, feel each and every cell of your body. And exhale. Take a second inhale, this time breathe into your heart and feel your heart center opening, awakening, expanding. And exhale. Take a third breath in and breathe into your aura. And feel your aura becoming big, bright, beautiful, and whole. And exhale. And inhale to tune in. Oh. Good. Mm -hmm. 
the breath, squeeze the root lock, the rectum, the sex organs, the navel. Feel the energy rise up your spine. And exhale, release, satnam. We're going to slowly, gently come onto our hands and knees for cat cow. So come onto all fours. We're going to inhale, open the heart. Exhale, curve. Inhale, exhale. And then start flowing with the breath. Starting to warm up. Powerfully. Just breathe into that space and with the exhale, gently let it go. Deep inhale and deep exhale. together. Exhale, side out, go ha. Beautiful. Inhale, deep. Hold. Exhale, side out, ha. Beautiful. One more time. Inhale, deep. Exhale, side out, ha. Exhale, come sitting in cross-legged position, easy pose. We're going to take the arms out to 60 degrees, the fingers are in, the thumbs are out, close the eyes, focus at the third eye point, we're going to begin the breath of fire through the nose. This happens to be on the first three days of your moon cycle, long deep breath, otherwise breath of fire through the nose.
now comes the manifestation part of this class. I want you to take a deep inhale and in your third eye, I want you to see your dreams, your goals, your vision. And hold. And exhale, let it go. One more time, deep inhale. And see your dreams, see your goals, see your vision, hold. And exhale, let it go. One more time, inhale deep. And now see your dreams, see your goals, see your vision, and feel it's already happened, it's already a reality, and hold that vibration. Be happy, be grateful. And exhale, let it go, beautiful. So stay in that energy that you just saw, you just created. Take your left palm on your heart center, right palm on top. We're gonna do a little clearing of the heart here. So down here, yeah, on the, in, in between the chest right here. This is your heart chakra. So we're gonna begin round mouth, breath of fire through mouth. Here, see if you can go into any old emotions, any pain, and just clear it with the breath. from your navel go last few seconds get all that stuff out of you move the energy with the breath together, legs together, crossing your wrists over your chest like a mummy. So just cross your wrists and just lay and completely relax here. Just breathe long and deep. Lay down, legs are together.
beautiful and now stay in this position begin pointing and flexing the heels point and flex point and flex rapidly and sink the breath inhale exhale inhale out exhale in or you know you can sink the breath heavy and loud breath so move quickly and breathe If you feel pressure at your temples, then you can slow down, but try to move as fast as you can. Keep the legs together, feet together side by side, point and flex, point and flex, and breathe with this. helping to adjust all these pressure points in your feet they're all connected to all your vital organs so there's a lot that goes on in the meridians and each of our feet so this is helping to release some of that energy point and flex point and flex Pressure, you're probably having to move a lot of energy so it's good for you just take a pace that's comfortable but make sure you're breathing with this breath is very important your lungs and exhale release the breath but keep the arms where they are point your toes we're gonna lift the left leg up to 90 degrees and then back down and switch it with the right leg up to 90 degrees and back down and keep going at your own pace changing the legs if it's hard to do it with the arms crossed at your chest you can modify and place the palms underneath your lower back so that's an option
the ground. And exhale, stay in the same arm position. Just take a few long, deep breaths here. Allow the energy to just settle. You have one more exercise, the same position. And once again, you can modify by putting your palms underneath your lower back. And now we're gonna raise both legs up to 90 degrees and back down, up to 90 and down. mantra this helps to unlock your destiny so it's a faith killer destiny opener if you want to chant this mantra you can or just listen to it and allow it to come into your energy and really open up a new space in you today inhale up exhale down relax the arms by your sides just breathe you earned it so just allow the energy to settle long deep breath getting you ready for next exercise next exercise is very funny at least the comment about it is funny i'll read it to you but first i'm going to tell you what it is so take your palms place them over the ears and elbows are pointing up and then you're going to begin moving your pelvic bone and rib cage from side to side like a wiggling fish. <laughs> so just wiggle on the ground like a wiggling fish. Make this diagonal movement so heavy that you can feel it in your temples. Okay, so move the pelvic bone, the rib cage, and the spine. The whole torso is moving. If you move heavily and fast, it will take away the age imbalances. And now, this is the funny comment which made me laugh. So it says, if you cannot copy the fish, how can you copy God? Make the effort. <laughs> so, try to copy the fish. Imagine you are a fish. So, everything is... And if you want to come off the mat and on the wooden floor, that might be easier because, you know, it's more slippery. So, it's an option. So, you want to do that. Move side to side. Your whole torso is moving. It's helping move all the energy that's been stuck. So move, move, move.
powerful movement, you guys. It's supposed to be heavy. Imagine that you're wiggling fish, like a fish out of water. How does the fish move? They don't just like, they're like trying to get back in the water. So move with intensity. We're almost done. Last few seconds. Center, hold. And exhale. Bring your knees into your chest. Just hug them in. Rock a little bit side to side on your spine. Massage. And then back and forth. And come up. And when you come up, come sitting onto your heels.
very conscious. This will make you feel good for the whole day if you do it right. On the up, the fingers touch, touch the shoulders, Kelly, and together. Fingertips together and on the shoulders, yeah. on your heels you can come to cross-legged but if you can sit on your heels do so we're gonna chant the mantra Hari Har Hari Har Hari Har Hari together so get ready Hari Har Hari Har Hari Har Hari so inhale Hari Har Hari Har Hari Har Hari 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 
navel, feel the energy spiral up, hold the breath, and fire out, one more time, deep inhale, hold, squeeze the root lock, move the energy, hold the breath, and fire out, one more time, deep inhale, Hold, squeeze the root lock. Move the energy up, 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 out the crown. Hold. And fire out. Beautiful. Stay in your meditative space. Come sitting in cross-legged position. We're going to take the thumb and the sun finger, the ring finger together. The rest of the fingers are pointing up by the shoulders. We're just going to close the eyes here and we're going to listen to this mantra, Rake, Rake Nahar. And we're going to breathe long and deep, long, deep breath. This meditation is going to give you an experience of God, God within you. So long, deep breath, just really meditate on the sound and on the breath. Just this you would rather so 
stretch your arms above the head, take a deep stretch, and exhale. Begin to rotate your wrists, rotate your ankles, and rub your palms together, soles of the feet together. And hug your knees into your chest, rock a little bit side to side. of the heart and this is your time to really send out your prayers your blessings bless everyone including you so make sure you send this prayer to your life first and then send it to your friends your family your loved ones even your enemies you know pray for everyone because we all need an inhale may the long time sun shine upon you all love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way on may the long time sun shine upon you all love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way on guide your way on guide your way on long satnam inhale so so connected every other person that we see is a reflection of us so let us be a little more compassionate towards ourselves and everyone Satnam, thank you so i hope you have a beautiful rest of your day someone can click the red button <laughs> Thank you.